Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is The Lady and as you can see right now I have a freshwater drum on my hook and it's a great fish to, uh, to catch and it's one of the two fish that I'm going to introduce to you guys uh, in this video and this is uh, how you level up from level 6 to level 9. Now I left you guys last time with uh, grinding way up from level 4 to level 6 on how to catch car, um, catfish, young channel catfish and regular channel catfish and on um, bullheads as well. And um, I know that you guys are uh, eager to get to, uh, to New York to Emerald Lake. Um, but the reason why I advise you guys to stay at least until level 8 here in Missouri is uh, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I am going to keep this fish right now. Uh, as you can see, it gives uh, a lot of uh, experience points. And here we go. Um, the reason why I advise you guys to stay uh, in um, Missouri or uh, Texas, if you like, um, is simple because at level 6, um, I've done a couple of uh, purchases and it has really dropped my money. I was on 560 bucks, 560, and it's now down to 223. And um, at the end of the movie, I'm going to the store and I'm going to show you guys what I've uh, purchased uh, so far. Um, if you want to go to Emerald Lake, uh, it's going to cost you 250 bucks a day. To, uh, to go there. So instead of going to Emerald Lake, get broke and then have to grind your way back up in, uh, in Texas or in Missouri, it's uh, better to stay in, uh, in Missouri or in Texas and fish until you're level 8. Also because uh, there's uh, the casting uh, reel with uh, casting spoon. Uh, you can also buy it already on level 5, but the reel on level 5, in, uh, in my honest opinion, is, uh, is a bad one. And at level 8 you get a better one. So my advice is uh, to stay here in Missouri and uh, now also besides uh, catfish and uh, the bass and the pike and the bullhead you can catch drum. And um, let's uh, go back to here. So what I've done first is um, uh, there are two ways to catch drum. It's uh, with floating you can catch them and also with lure fishing. Um, first off the spot. Let's do that. Where I'm standing is not visible on the map. It's not a spot that you can go to if you click on either one of those. It's right here. Now if you watch one of the previous movies, you know that you can from Pike Challenge walk all the way up to Last Sons of Summer. And there right in the middle is a fork in the road. And um, I'll show you guys where it is. So we're right here. Here's the fork. Now, last songs is right over here. So, if you want to fish for drum, go to last songs. Just turn around, walk the path, and take this fork. Now, if you are at bike, just walk all the way up to here, and then go over here. So for freshwater drum, first thing that you need to know, uh, the happy hour is at 8 a.m. in the morning. So right now I've already fished uh, a bit about it, uh, on it and uh, it's uh, 9.30. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a cloudy day or, uh, or a sunny day, 8 a.m. Is, uh, is the happy hour for, uh, for the drum. And well, as said before, there's two ways to, uh, to catch them. First off is uh, with a float. And here we are. Uh, I'm using the Omni Float for this one. It's a uh, uh, rod that you can purchase at level 5, level 6. And then I've been using the Inspire Cost 1000. And this one we've already purchased on level 4. And we used it on a Telefloat rod. I've now sold it on the Omni Float because it has a max track of 1.6. And I'm using Mono 0.18. Uh, line which has a 1.4 kilograms uh, test. So uh, setup is balanced. Then I have the chubby bobber. I have a hook number one, not the 1.0. Uh, for some reason, uh, with float fishing, um, it's harder to catch them on a 1.0 than on a number one hook. As for bait, I'm using red worms. Um, 
Uh, the reason for that is uh, at, uh, at our current level, level 6, red worms is the only thing that we can use to catch these uh, freshwater drumfish on. Uh, at a higher level you can also use uh, crawfish cut bait, um, stuff like that. Well, not crawfish cut bait, but crawfish bait. And, um, but red worm is what we're using right now. Uh, the downside is that you can also catch bass with it and bluegill and um, white crappies and small minnows uh, where we're going to fish. But uh, since we can also catch uh, freshwater drum with it, we're going to use it. And then the leader depth, you don't set it on max, but you set it on 240 centimeters, or that's about uh, 96, 97 inches. Um, the reason for that is uh, I've tried it out, uh, setting it on max, and for some reason I get less uh, drum than if I set it on 240. So that's uh, the first. I'll show you guys uh, where, uh, where the fish is. Here across the lake you see uh, the reeds that start to begin here and this is where the fish is all the way up to where the reeds end over there and then you have to cast out at uh, 18 meters is, uh, is the spot uh, in general I cast about here and then let it uh, go all the way down to here before it starts to reel back in um, the fresh water drum it does take its time to um, uh, to uh, hook uh, hook itself, so um, be patient with it. And well, I'm going to do one uh, one throw in and show you guys where uh, where it is. And now I'm down to 20, and I want to go to 18. Now, as you can see, I've set my um, drag settings on to five, and uh, with this setup, it uh, holds it perfectly. Uh, the freshwater drum, it's a bit like, uh, it fights a bit like a catfish, so it's not like a very uh, active uh, or aggressive uh, fish, it's not like a bass or a pike, but still it can, uh, can give a decent fight and with drag set on uh, 4 or 5, you know that, uh, that you're good to go and to, uh, that you'll be able to reel it in without it taking too much line. And um, speed setting, uh, I have it on 3. Um, also make sure that uh, your line is a bit to uh, either the left or the right from uh, from your bobber because you do need to strike fast. Um, if you've uh, tried the, the channel fish, the, the proper channel fish, not the young ones but uh, the adults, uh, you know that uh, your strike time is, uh, is a bit short. Uh, the same goes for drum. Uh, as I said here in this spot, um, with uh, with this kind of bait, it's uh, you can also catch bluegills and bass and white crappie and small minnows. Oh, uh, we had a nibble right there. So it's not a guarantee that you always catch drum, but uh, at least it's uh, it's a good way to uh, uh, to start with it. And there we go. No, this isn't the drum. Because then it would have fought harder. I think it's a crappy or a bluegill by the looks of it. Yeah, it's a crappy. Okay. So, anyways, um, 18 meters is uh, is very neat to to cast it, and then it's all the way up to here. Um, now keep in mind that it uh, some it sometimes takes a while before uh, before the fish uh, bites, so you need to be patient. And then once it's past this point, reel back in and then throw out again. So that's the first one. And uh, the second uh, way to catch them is by using lures. Now for this one, uh, as you can see, uh, I have the drag also on 5 and speed set on 2. The technique that you're using is uh, the, the stop and go. And they are in the, the same area for uh, lures, so between the ends of the, the two patches of reeds and uh, you have to cast out between 22 meters and well, a little over 22 meters then you reel in until you're at 22 meters then you start your stop and uh, stop and go and once you pass the 50 meter mark 15 meter mark sorry you um, you can uh, reel back in a reason for that is if you cast out further here, you can catch bass. And if you cross the 15 meter mark here, 
Instead of uh, catching a freshwater drum, you catch either a pike or also a bass. Now here, um, the freshwater drum it's, uh, it likes to sit in the middle of uh, of this river, and um, there's also a couple of either dead logs or rocks sitting at the bottom, so you can get a catch a snack, but that's okay. So I'll show you guys. Here we go. I'm going to cast out. Now it's at 28, so we're going to reel in a little until we're at 23. Here we go. Let it sink. And now stop and go. So just uh, press the left mouse button and release it. And now we're at 15. So we're going to reel it in fast. Now if you do want to catch a bass or pike, just uh, keep on doing the stop and go. Uh, it's, uh, it's good. Now as for the casting spoon, here you can use the 1.0. Uh, uh, the 7 gram casting spoon, I'm currently using uh, that one. Uh, you can also use uh, the silver or the gold one. Oh, I have to wait until it's on the ground. Oh, I got my spear. I was already wondering why it, it was going up so uh, far, but I have my speed on it. it. So here you can see that we have a snack. Nope, it's not going to work this time. But no worries. i show you guys uh, what I've got. So here's what I've got. Uh, we had the white crappy earlier, and then here you guys can see that I had the freshwater drum with red worms, and then here I also had it with my casting spoon. And uh, as you can see, the re reward is uh, between, uh, say, 15 and 20 uh, bucks. And but this is, of course, the nice part of it. It gives quite a lot of experience. So. Uh, great fish to fish for. It looks a bit like uh, the buffalo that you have in uh, in Texas. It's uh, the same silver, uh, silvery white color. Awesome fish, uh, fish to uh, to catch. Um, but it does take uh, take some time. Okay. Now that we've done this, let's go to the bowfin. Hey folks, welcome back. <laughs> Right now I'm catching uh, bowfins, and this is the second pe uh, species that uh, we have got so far in uh, Missouri. And I'm going to show you guys how to catch them. Uh, as you can see, they give uh, pretty much uh, experience points. This one is 1.8 kilograms, and of course we're going to keep this one. This one. So here we go. I'll show you guys uh, setup first. So I'm using uh, the OmniFloat 350, <coughs> and has a line weight of three kilograms. Then I'm using the Inspirecast 2000, which has a max drag of 1.6. The Mono 018 line, which has a test gram of 1.4 kilograms. I'm using the biggest hook that we can ha uh, use so far, which is at level six, the 1.0, and I'm using small cut bait. Now for the bowfin, the leader depth uh, anywhere between about 80 centimeters up to 120 centimeters is, uh, is fine. And um, I'll show you guys here. So earlier on, I fished on a freshwater drum, um, and now here you can see that uh, we got ourselves uh, two bowfins so far. Uh, and it was uh, in the evening on a sunny day. Uh, the first one I caught about uh, half past four and then uh, this one just and here you can see it gives uh, about the same experience as uh, freshwater drum here's a 38 and a 25 uh, as for money it pays a bit less but still it's a great fish to uh, to catch and also the experience points are uh, quite uh, okay so Let's uh, head back and I'll show you uh, guys where to fish for them. Let's uh, adjust my reel setting for the moment. Um, now, 
The bowfin. The bad thing about bowfins is they like to hang out on the same spots as the bears do. So you over here is uh, the spot where a bass is and then over here as well and over here just a little behind the lily pads uh, between 30 meters out and say 22 meters out is where the bowfin likes to hang out as well also here and the bowfin also like the same bait as bass do now the only it's a predator fish as well um, what uh, I have found out is that uh, if you, you're using a uh, small cut bait or a minnows or s shiners, uh, you're more likely to catch a uh, bowfin instead of a bass. But um, you can also use red worms, pet food, uh, that works too. But then you also uh, are more likely to catch bass as well. So um, the peak hours are uh, when uh, also the bass is active, so uh, that will be on sunny days 5 a.m. in the morning until say about uh, 11 and then in the late afternoon uh, again and on cloudy days uh, just a little before the peak hour starts, so uh, say about 9 a.m. in the morning and then uh, about 4 p.m. in the afternoon you can uh, start for both in. So um, I'm going to cast uh, a little bit further out, um, just like this. Yep, there it goes. Now both in same as uh, freshwater drum. It uh, it takes a bit more time to uh, catch them. Now I'm at um, 38 meters. I'm going to reel in still about say 32, and I'm keeping my rod a little. Uh, angle towards the left side and that is because here of course is the lily pads so I like to reel in uh, every once in a while when I have too much slack you see my line here and now it starts to appear here so every time it goes on the left side of my rod I'll uh, reel in just a little just like so um, and that is because here you too need to have a uh, uh, your your window of uh, striking isn't uh, isn't very big, so uh, you want uh, not a, l a lot of slack on your line, and also you want to prevent getting your uh, bobber in here and get uh, get a snag. So let's see if uh, if I can catch uh, another both in. So the spot they uh, they like to be is uh, between uh, twenty eight and twenty two meters but you can also catch them a little bit further out um, I like to throw in uh, out a little bit further uh, just so my bait is already uh, already there and then just reel in slowly uh, to have a more uh, chance of, uh, of catching a bowfin okay so um, let's uh, wait and see what happens if it takes too long I'll uh, I'll just uh, skip it um, because you guys have already seen what's uh, what's in my net. So now the bowfin it gives a pretty uh, pretty big fight. So right now I have my uh, drag set on two, but um, if it's a small one, uh, a free a drag on three would be uh, would be okay. If it's a big one uh, like the one that I just got, I had to push my drag all the way up to 5 and even then it still would uh, run off uh, some of my line. It took me about 5 minutes uh, to land the fish. So it's uh, uh, you need to fight it a little. Okay, I'm going to reel this one in. Let's give it one more, uh, more try and see what happens. It's a bit more towards the lilies. There she do. Now you can also catch uh, trophy bowfins, um, especially in the evenings. And for that you need uh, either minnows or uh, the biggest uh, cup bait you can catch, and also use the biggest uh, hook that you uh, that you have. But I think at level six it's. Uh, uh, it's very unlikely to uh, to catch one just on a uh, on small cut bait. Still, it uh, it can happen. So uh, kudos to you if you uh, 
we managed to land one. Um, and as I said, this, uh, this fissure is also... Uh, it uh, takes a longer time to, uh, to catch it. They're not as surf they're not as much as uh, there's bass or uh, catfish that you can uh, just uh, throw out your line and uh, like 10 seconds later you can reel it back in with a fish on. Oh yeah, uh, one uh, more thing that you need to uh, watch out for. If you're fishing late in the evening, so the time that we're at right now, and say 7 and 8 p.m., 9 p.m. as well, uh, on this spot where uh, my cursor is right now, there's also uh, gars. And um, they're great fish uh, <laughs> uh, in both uh, both ways. They're, they're very big. And... Um, they they look uh, look awesome. They're small, uh, look like small alligators, and um, they uh, like uh, cut bait as well and minnows. Um, now with the current gear that we are having, uh, level six gear, it's uh <laughs> it's it's an unfair fight because you need uh, a huge uh, huge rod to uh, to handle those uh, those monsters. Uh, the smallest ones are about 12 kilograms, and then the trophy ones, uh, the biggest ones, they can reach up to 36 kilograms. So um, if you do catch a gar, um, just cut your line. It's it really, it's it's not worth it uh, at this level. But once you reach, say, level 14, you can give a shot at uh, the first gars. Uh, Unless you have DLC gear, then you can uh, can already uh, fish for them at um, level 11. I think was the first time I caught it with DLC gear. So, anyways, uh, today we fish for a freshwater drum. Uh, as you guys saw earlier, uh, it was in the morning, 8 a.m., and we used red worms uh, first. This is the only bait right now that we can use, and uh, the spoons also work. And um, for um, float fishing, you have to have a hook number one, and for spoons, it has to be a 1.0. Now, for both ends, we used cut bait. You could also use uh, red worms or pet food, but then you can also catch more uh, bass. So, small cut bait is, uh, is a better thing to use. Uh, this time, we fished in the evening, and um, this is, uh, is the total uh, reward that we have so far is uh, 56. So let's go um, go home. Yes, we want to leave, and we also had a devoted achievement. So now I'm going to show you guys what uh, uh, what we need to uh, buy at level six. So here we go. Let's go to the shop. First off, the rods. So as you um, can see, I've purchase the value spin 230 it was uh, the one that I used catching the drum with and the Omni float is also the one that I used uh, in this video and um, well if you first off let's check the value spin we already had the 190 and this is the 230 now the only difference is the lure weight this one is 20 grams and the length this one is 2.3 meters where this one is 1.9 meters and it has a max of 9 uh, 18 grams of allure. Um, the sole reason I purchased this one is because of the length. It uh, makes um, uh, better to uh, to strike at fish, especially when there's some uh, slack on the line. And uh, this one uh, I already found out a couple of times that if uh, I had a bit of slack on it and I tried to uh, to strike it, uh, I was too late and the fish was gone. Now the second rod that I purchased at level six is the Omni Float, and this one is uh, three and a half kilograms and has a line weight of 1.5 to three kilos. Whereas the Telefloat, the starting rod that uh, everybody gets, is uh, has a, a longer length, uh, but it has a line weight of one to 3.0 kilograms. So the max kilograms aren't uh, aren't any different, but it's the line weight this one can handle stronger line. So that's the reason why I purchased this one. 
Uh, at level 5 and level 6 you also have the value cast rods and they, instead of a spinning reel, what we've used so far, need a casting reel. And the first uh, difference that you can see is that it has the guides on top of the rod. Whereas here, the normal uh, rods, spinning reel rods, have the guides on the bottom. Um, the reason I haven't purchased this, and if you watched my previous fit, uh, you'll know it, is that uh, the Felix 500... Uh, give me a second, let me adjust the sound for a moment. Yep, and return to the game. Here we go, reels. Level up is first. Okay, so back here we have the Felix 500 uh, casting reel, uh, which you, you would use for the value casting rods. And um, I did purchase this one on my main account, and I deeply regret it, for the simple reason that it uh, it has a recovery of only 50 centimeters. But the main reason was this: it can hold. Uh, a lot less line than uh, other reels can. So here it says uh, mono 0 0.12 to 50, whereas at level 8 you can have the double amount of line on it. So by if you're buying this one, uh, it simply means that uh, your casting out distance is, uh, I think it was even below 30 meters, I think it was something like 27, 28 meters. And that really is, is terrible, especially if you want to uh, use it for uh, pike fishing, whether it's in uh, Missouri or in uh, in New York at Emerald Lake. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, it, it, it really is, uh, is uh, crappy to, uh, to fish with. So my advice, uh, don't buy this one, wait until you're level 8 and only then purchase uh, the Lodex S on uh, 1000S. This is a much better uh, casting reel to uh, to start with, um, and it's also a uh, ten bucks uh, cheaper. All right. So um, as for the normal reels, the spinning reels, uh, at level six we got the Callisto XSR uh, thousand. It has a recovery of seventy, a max rack of one point five, and two plus one ball bearings. Um, the higher this number is, the better the spinning rod, uh, the spinning reel is. But as uh, you could see earlier in level four, we purchased this one, and uh, this one has a recovery of seventy, also a hundred. But this one has a max drag of one point six, and it has four ball bearings. So uh, instead of uh, buying this one, uh, which has a lesser drag on it, uh, I purchased another Inspire cast. Uh, to go uh, with uh, the first inspire cast we put on our telefloat, if you remember correctly, and uh, now I have it on the Omnifloat. And uh, the second inspire cast uh, 2000, I placed it onto my uh, value spin rod. So now that we've done that, let's go to the lines. At level 5, you can purchase the Moto 0.2 uh, millimeters, and you can uh, purchase the braided ones. Um, I've already purchased the braided one as well, um, but only to discover later that I can't use it on any of my reels right now because my reels are um, up to two points. What was it? What did I just say here? 1.6 kilograms, whereas this line can hold 2.7 kilograms. So anytime I get a snack instead of my line breaking, my reel is going to break. So. Um, even though I did purchase it already, I can't use it, so it's it's uh, useless in my home. Um, the Mono 0.2, I did uh, did purchase that one. Um, it has a 1.8 kilogram testing, uh, so it's uh, also uh, not something that uh, we can use right now at level six. But uh, at least we can uh, can use it uh, when we reach level seven, I think, or uh, otherwise at level eight. So. Um, here are the fluoro, li fluoro lines, um, but they cost gold, so I didn't purchase those. And then on the second page, you see that we have the big mono open two, and then the big braided open five, fifteen, and then the fluoro open twenty-three. So um, I am going to purchase this one uh, just already because it holds uh, a lot more line. Uh, oh, I think I already have it. 
And so let's get on to tools and equipment. So if you've seen the previous fits, you know that I've fallen in love with this baby because it can hold up to four rods and as a bonus it can hold an extra reel. Um, so I think this is uh, well worth the money, so I purchased it. Um, if you don't have uh, enough gold for it or uh, you don't fancy it, just uh, go with this one at level three, uh, six. You can buy the Flagman triple case and it has three rods that you can carry with you. Now I also purchased this one, the Flagman Comfort Camper. Uh, it can handle uh, two more shackles and one more line. And then the biggest purchase that I've done is the fish tail stringer, the medium one. It's 150 bucks, and I know it's uh, it's a lot because I started out with uh, 560, uh, 560 bucks, and then I went down to two, 220, I think, in total. But the main reason is um, if we, you looked earlier on the the fishes, they were 1.8 kilograms uh, about it. Uh, so we couldn't keep those if we uh, we had this one on uh, this one uh, on us. Uh, same goes if you catch a channel catfish or uh, uh, bow fins, they also uh, go way over the 1.4 kilograms. So this is a really good investment to have. You can have up to 3.2 kilograms of a single fish and a total weight of 8 kilograms. And so that's just awesome. Um, just the difference between the fishnet and the keeper, the stringer. Um, with this one you can release fish, and with this one you can't. But still, it's uh, it's uh, very much uh, better to uh, to have uh, to be able to hold uh, the bigger fish. So on to terminal tackle. At level 5 you get the number 1 hook and at level 6 you get the 1.0 so make sure you buy these two as well. Then on to lures. Uh, well if you watch my previous fit you guys know that I'm more into the casting spoons than the sloppy spoons. And at level 5 we get a whole new bunch of jig ads with sheds with them. Uh, some more casting spoons. Uh, these are the 7 grams, the uh, 1.0. And then here we have some jigs. And here is a casting spoon that I've uh, purchased with gold. Um, and it's simply because sometimes, um, on some days, the silver spoon won't work and the gold spoon also won't work. And then it's these two little ones uh, that. Uh, do work. It's it's not a, a, a hundred percent guarantee or fail proof uh, because every spoon should work. Um, still, it's the uh, same with bait. On some f uh, days, fish prefer uh, say pet food, and on other days, they prefer cheese. So that's uh, the same thing with the casting spoons. Um, especially if you go to New York to uh, the Emerald Lake uh, for pike fishing, uh, make sure you have one of these with you. These are the 2.0 so you catch the bigger ones but at level 6 you can also purchase for the common currency the 1.0 casting spoons. So that's uh, that's that. Um, last thing about this one here you'll see that uh, this uh, jig is uh, only 4 grams and now if we go to uh, our rods, the rod section, the rods so far uh, have a lure weight that is higher than 4 grams. I think 5 is the lowest. Yes, here we go. The value spin 190. It has a lure weight of 5 grams. Uh, the only time you, uh, the first time you can use that particular lure is when at level 8 you purchase these uh, Aurora 190 or the Aurora 230. Here you can see that it has a lure weight of 2 to 12 kilogram, uh, grams and here a lure weight of 1 to 9. So um, save yourself the money, don't purchase uh, don't purchase this batch jig of 4 gram. simply you can't use it right now. Okay, last thing, the bait. Now here we go at level 5 we have the corn, the peas, the maggots and the small minnows added. Uh, corn is great for uh, bullheads, uh, catfish. Um, you can even catch trophy bullheads with it. Peas too go for uh, for catfish and bullheads. Uh, maggots is more for panfish. 
Um, you can catch a couple of trophies with it, but that also happens when you use uh, um, red worms. And then of course uh, blood worms, grasshoppers and small minnows. Um, they cost gold. You can catch a couple of trophies with it. Um, but for now I suggest uh, to save yourself some money. Unless you want to go after the trophy bass, then you definitely need uh, small minnows. And the trophy bass is uh, fished at the same spot as where we caught our uh, bowfin. Uh, so uh, I know that with small minnows uh, you are going to catch bowfin as well. But it's uh, it's a good one to use as well for uh, for trophy bass. So that's uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm a big fan of. Uh, first leveling up until you're about level 8 because only then can we purchase uh, a decent enough uh, casting reel and then with a casting rod we will go to emerald lake also we need to grind our way back up we're now down to 279 bucks and to go to new york you need at least uh, 250 uh, per day uh, to, uh, to fish there to uh, to travel there and to have the basic and the advanced license so um, do yourself a favor don't go broke and just uh, stay here in either Missouri or in uh, Lone Star Lake in Texas um, my next vid will be actually about uh, Lone Star Lake in Texas uh, I've already done a small vid about how to catch the spotted bass and the buffalo there but I'll do a, a, a vid about uh, the Lone Star Lake in, uh, in general and then later this week I'm also going to do a couple of fits about um, how to uh, get the, the perfect balance setup. And um, maybe it's nice to do, uh, do a couple of fish about uh, uh, fits about uh, how to catch trophy fish in Mudwater River. So, so long for now. Uh, I wish you uh, happy fishing, happy days and tight lines. Bye bye. <laughs>